Welcome back to Coffee Talk. Tina Drake and I have actually come up with some really cool things. We've been off for a little while because we've been working through some different issues, right. trying to make a new schedule and figure out what programming you want. We've had people call in and tell us they want to see certain things or they're asking certain questions. So it's like, okay, how do we, how do we mold this into what bridging the gap in your community looks like and uh, and channel 15 when it, right we want your public broadcast to be a little more fun and and we're bringing you this production so we've had people ask us right. you know to talk about certain things and one thing was we're gonna read <clears throat> excuse me remind us about the postal workers oh that's a big one and you know with the postal workers like Tina said earlier we were talking about the postal workers and she does her business with the and she has to take all these letters into the post office because she's got a new thing she's doing. Right. She's writing letters to um, guys in the in the prisons, guys and gals, and or gals. anybody else. <laughs> yes, For, to encourage them to you know um, go ahead and go to school or to look at the day it's a little better. You, you know you're one day closer to being able to to get out of the prison or the jail. And and, and it goes much bigger goals. than that. It's just that it began with yes. with a friend of mine that actually right. you know made some poor choices and he ended up in jail and so he's been in there so much longer than expected right. because they are backed up and there are so many things right so I just felt like that sending happy coaching and all the techniques I've learned I'm, I want them to feel better so that's how it began and then now we're evolving into a much bigger message center I guess you right. could say and a campaign and so we're gonna have some fun with it well that you know we we can't put everything that we do on channel 15 sometimes because of their public broadcast station but there are things that um, Tina's doing and some of them are um, she's doing things with these cards to where people can actually contact us and there'll be a PO box listed with this um, they can actually contact us and request us to send somebody a message and wherever and we put that message on there and send it out for them but um, if you check out our Facebook page and our YouTube channel there are videos on there about the things that we partner and do right. so those will be there so you don't see everything on channel 15 which I'm I'm sorry we can't we can't always do everything on channel 15 but anything we have done any of our productions all of them are actually put on Facebook and they are put on YouTube so you can go there and see more details about things like the cards and stuff right. like that so and if you don't do social media you can always jump on over to the library and just right. type in YouTube you don't have to have a subscriber for right. YouTube so right. you can always watch YouTube you don't have to be a part I know right. I have some friends that are just not big into the social media and so right. that's fine and, yeah. and so when you go there you want to look up Kentucky Anna news right and on there will be on that YouTube channel will be everything we do with coffee talk um, everything we do with WRX what we do with um, what is the other one bridging the gap productions is what we do that's the company that produces all the stuff for Kentucky Anna news and coffee talk and and WRX's recordings as far as coaches corner veterans talk and some of the other things we do with them so it, that's a neat place to go and find all of those videos and information pieces especially like veterans talk right people didn't realize that with uh, Joe DeVito and the lady that works here in town and I'm, I'm sorry I can't remember her name but um, they actually do the region if there's a veteran in Carrollton or in Trimble County that's not sure what services they need to access they'll help you figure that out in Madison Indiana so you just go to the veteran doesn't matter where you live right oh, right so they'll help you and it may be that they have that service that they can offer you in Madison Indiana if you live in Trimble County and it may be that they'll send you to uh, the Veterans Affairs Office in another county mm -hmm. because they'll have be able to access things for you a little easier but nobody knew that until we started recording veterans talk right with WRX <coughs> and Excuse me. WRX has done that for so long we're not going to do that show again that's that's just silly I think to try to reproduce something that's already being done and done well so Joe DeVito that is really a great adventure for you it is and, and for us and Joe but Joe DeVito doesn't need to come out and do it a second time <coughs> right so WRX and I we partnered we can have and a lot of fun miss Tina goes with us and she helps us do that sometimes so it's really neat that we do those things so I like that so now on to the next thing our what grandparents we oh. so <laughs> we have our, our special grandparents she always surprises me with that one I'm never ready uh, miss so. Debbie Crawford I just we always love to hear 
her perspective as a grandparent. I'm not there yet. I am looking forward to the role, so don't think I'm not. I am, but I'm not there, and she is, and she sees things, so I'd like for her to just kind of give us an idea. What's our grandparent memo of the day? Well, I think it's to make sure you support your child and their spouse. Now, now that doesn't always I mean you see eye to eye. I'm not saying that because you don't you don't see eye to eye with anybody all the time. But you know like the other night one of the girls was laying on her belly and we were watching a movie and her dad and mom were sitting on the couch behind us so they didn't really see what was going on and I'm I'm kind of tickling her leg and pinching her a little bit and she's and she starts kicking me with the with her foot. She's laying on her belly and so she's just doing this and her dad says stop that we don't kick and I'm like oh that's okay Penelope dad didn't know that Nana was pinching you and tickling you so he he thought you were just doing something you shouldn't and but that told dad that it wasn't really the child's fault right without me going dad don't do that dad don't yell at her dad don't. right because to me you just told the child that whatever dad says is not very good yes. right right and that Nana knows well let's see that's where you overstepped so I think you have to be really careful and support mom and dad even if they ground the child for six months over something trivial like dropping a pee on the floor well you don't say anything to the child you just say well now we need to clean that up you got in trouble because you threw food on the floor and then when the child's not around you might go to your your child and their spouse and say you know that was a little that's a little much but not in front of the kids. Right, right. Don't do it in front of the kids. You know, we always had a rule. Yeah. And this is, I'm not a grandparent again, but as a parent, we had a rule that we just, you know, I, it almost became funny as they became adults. But, you know, my husband and I would always say, to the closet. <laughs> but, but we would go to the closet to actually discuss those big issues. Yes. And, you know, we understand that our children today seem like they're adults. But remember that they're not and they have they need boundaries right that and are clear they only see what you allow them yep. to see so grandparents you're just as much in fact I think uh, there was somebody at the school told us the other day that we have something like a hundred over a hundred yeah. grandparent families that are raising their grandchildren and that's in Trimble County right that was in Trimble County and yeah. that's everywhere now in Jefferson yeah. County Indiana I'm sure it's as big or larger is it because the county's bigger right so and it could could be and I don't I don't necessarily say that's good or bad I'm not worried about that I'm just saying that those grandparents have a, have, huge, role. Have a huge role and yeah. even grandparents that aren't raising their grandchildren have a huge role and so you want if you see something in that child that they're doing that displeases you yeah. it might be the time for you to actually look at what they do that pleases you Sometimes we get focused, and you know that's going to be part of our love section right, here in right. a minute. But sometimes we get focused on all the negative about the people around us. Right. You know, and, and I the think same with that with the grandparent. You yes, don't just so. look at your son-in-law and say that was wrong. Instead, she just smoothed it over and then said, "But I want to take responsibility for this." Right. If she is doing this, I want you to know why. Now you know when the when the girls end up if one of them have scolded them for something they always come running to Nana crying but I can do two things with that I can create an issue mm -hmm. by saying oh that mean old mommy or whatever well that's not what you should say at all right you can snuggle them you can comfort them and then you can say well now you know mommy only did that because she's worried about you right you know she loves you so much she doesn't want anything to ever happen to you so you defend the parent and you comfort the child and they still love you for it but you're not creating another issue right for the parent you're later. allowing that child to see that everybody is for the good for them right you're right. allowing that child you're not forcing that child yeah. you're allowing that child to recognize all of my loved ones want me to be right a great human a great person a great daughter great granddaughter whatever I am right because it takes all it takes it takes oh. the parents and the grandparents to it does. raise that child listen so we I know we're, we're limited on time but I'm gonna tell you real quick we talked about it on the Facebook one too <laughs> my daughter is right now just I'm proud as punch of all of my oh, children and this is amazing right now done. she has 
landed herself through a great deal of work hard work dedication uh, a position to with be the help voted. of the grandparents yes the help of so. many grandparents and moms and dads and right. friends and sisters but she is now in a contest and it she'll be on the cover of Maxim I think this is the first level and then it goes on but it's for a few days now I didn't tell you that to brag I told you that well I did a little bit because I think she's wonderful well, her name is Ashley her goal Drake for right? so long I mean even 16th birthday I'm just gonna tell you real quick you know when everybody else was celebrating their 16th birthday my baby was at a 33 degree on the Ohio River I mean mom and Mima like to froze to death and it was called a waterfront Wednesday uh, fashion show it wasn't Wednesday it was just a fashion show All right. it just turns out that in October it was 33 degrees that weekend but that's what she wanted to do and so the reason I said that is having said that is it took all of us and she yes. has learned that and all of my children have learned that I'm super excited for that they have learned that it takes everybody yes and if you're one of those fortunate ones like me that has a big family and I, you know being an only child raised an only child and then to see all of the family and the friends coming together and helping and whatever they need right. to do and when when they're helping one of the things with Ashby is she is in this contest but she needs votes right yeah she, she needs, does need votes right in order to be on the cover so that's one of the things if you go to Tina's Facebook page you can see that and if you know Ashby well then Ashby Drake yep. yes but it's so, just interesting because you guys are really important to somebody right I promise there is somebody watching you and saying well if they can do it so can I right and that's the most important message today and we're going to cut this a little bit short because we you know talked quite a bit on the Facebook one so we we're, gonna cut, we're gonna cut channel 15 a little bit short today but we do want you to know that you are important it, you are you are so important and that brings us to another thing you know we talk about how important we are helping each other there's one thing there's all these festivals that go on you know and I don't know if you realize it or not but those festivals in all these little towns that pays for things with the football team it the does. basketball team um, the local nonprofits if those festivals aren't going on then neither are those festivals um, nonprofits the um, the promotional the school side right. they can't buy uniforms the cheerleaders can't get what they need you know the clubs can't do things so I, d I just want you to think this weekend there's going to be a ton of things going on now um, WLKY all, from now all the way September through all, October yeah. you have something every, every weekend well, in our area usually more than one thing right and when we do the weather we have WLKY does our weather for us and Jay Cardosi or Tiffany Savona will talk about one or two events we can't talk about all of them on the weather but we try to pick two that are maybe not very well known or that um, have contacted me months ahead of time now those I love you, you know, <laughs> if you want to be on something we need to know months ahead of time it'd be great yeah. but proper planning yes you can have a great festival that's proper right planning. <laughs> so what I would like everybody to think about is on Saturday you have to eat anyway take some time and drive to a festival oh, we have the yes. tobacco festival coming up we have Chautauqua coming up I'll tell you we last have. weekend I emceed pageants at the Apple Festival yes you guys I have and never it had a grilled bologna sandwich have you ever had a grilled bologna well, sandwich yes, that's the only way I'll eat them well I've had a I'm fried not bologna pan this was smoked grilled thick mm -hmm. amazing it had a sauce on it I was even kind of a little testy in the beginning I was like I don't want that I want ketchup and all this try it that's what they said I ate it all I mean my mom and I were like she was like I want another bite I said no so yes you are that is well, perfect go so to those festivals and try something different yes either get something to eat or just walk through you know because like I said in those festivals that keeps that little town going it does and it's so important that was because such a neat statement well I, d I really like her <laughs> that's why we work together yeah but it's just really neat because we need to make sure we help each other out and if nobody goes to the festivals then we're not going to have the uniforms that the kids right. need we're not going to have those nonprofits being able to support the community and give them this whatever it is they're providing so I just really would like to see everybody try to make it out and and go get something to eat or and I think you know give just, a donation like I said something. I went to I was two or three festivals in the last couple of weekends I've been all the way to Evansville Indiana right 
Bedford, Kentucky. I've been to Louisville. I mean, you know, several things have gone on lately. And it's been interesting because it was just like the customer service deal. It was interesting because yeah. they made us all feel important. I right. mean, when I got there, they were like, try this or do this. And I said, wow, this is so much fun because everybody wanted to be there. Yes. I got to go to that pin up girls uh, contest and it was, you know, a bunch of beautiful ladies that right. were dressed up in the 50s and the car show. So, and of course the bands. Oh, yeah. You know, the school bands come and they, they want to show what they can do. And I just think that's really, really neat mm -hmm. if we take care of them and support them because we want to make sure those services are still offered in our communities. Sure. It's just really important. So, well, we want our communities to live, which is right. so exciting. We aren't telling you, we can't move on. We have to thank our sponsors. Uh, yes. If we wanted to, we'd sit here and talk to you guys for the next <laughs> 10 hours, and there you'd be. Oh my goodness, Debbie and Tina, I can't get rid of them. Okay. Right. So, we are going to end this, but yep. coming up very soon, we have some exciting programs to offer to you. So, be on the lookout. That's right. So now, just remember, watch WLKY does our weather for us, and when we put it on our stuff, it tells you what the weather's going to be like that weekend, so you know what time to show right. up to that festival when it's In not raining. Carrollton, Madison, Madison, Scottsburg, everything Trimble from County. Scottsburg to Crestwood, Crestwood, Oldham County, yeah, and then we go as far as Clarksville and um, Switzerland County. So that little hub there. They do the weather for us for that area, and then we, you'll know when you can go. We thank you, WLKY, oh, yes. for partnering with us. That was an exciting event. We're yes. It's been over a year now. I know. And they are, they are amazing to work with. I have never... Um, well, I've worked with some people that are as good as they are to work with, but they are so... They're, they're punctual. They're courteous. You know, if there's an issue, I get... I get an update every 30 minutes as to oh, the progress. That's you know, if they've done a new program or something and mm -hmm. it's not working. They are amazing. I, you need to watch these guys. I, I really appreciate everything they do for us in our community. So, And as always, if we didn't have you, that's right. we wouldn't have a show. We would. <laughs> <laughs> so we're so happy right. that you're here watching us. Please remember that to spread the love, Yes. just do unto others as you would do unto yourself. So if you treat yourself kind, you're probably going to treat others kind too. That's right. As always, so, we love yeah. you and we thank you. We appreciate you watching. Oh, we really do. You just don't know how much. So make sure you make it back for another one. And go to the Facebook page and YouTube and see what else we've done. We'll see you again next time. 